Welcome to our preview of the 2023 baseball season as we count down to opening day. Very happy to speak with our coaches. And right now we've got Winthrop's Tom Reginas. TR, how are you doing, Coach? Thanks for joining us. Oh, Mark, thanks. Thanks for having us. Thanks for doing this. This is really great for uh, Big South baseball, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, let's jump right into just the season itself uh, in the big picture, your overall outlook for the uh, upcoming year, anything you're tweaking, changes, improvements, and uh, general expectations. This is year, I believe, year 13 for you leading the yeah. Eagles. Yeah, it's been a long time, a very, very good 13 years. But a uh, really good question. Um, a lot of new faces, a um, lot of teaching going on. Uh, I, I thought our fall was um, outstanding. Um, we got back to where we needed to be after the fall. Uh, we worked a lot on our culture of our program, uh, especially bringing in so many new guys. Um, so I think there's a lot of teaching going on, uh, a lot of things that we were doing with our culture. So from that standpoint, I, I thought our fall uh, was a very positive fall, one of the best falls that we've had going forward. So I think that's that's a positive. Excellent. Well, let's, let's talk about Let's talk about the bats. Let's get into the hitting here. And and Joey Savedits is one of your top returners in the lineup. What are you expecting from him? And who else is going to be the, the main production for this year? Well, Joey's been a mainstay for us uh, over the last three years. Um, he, he's logged in a lot of at bats, played a lot of innings for us. Um, and you saw him take another jump from a physical standpoint uh, this past summer going in the fall. So we, we expect big things out of him. Um, Will Martin is a young man that's been in the program for, for three years, uh, has played a limited role, but really stepped up his game, uh, took it to another level. So we're really excited to see where he's going to go uh, and come this coming up spring as we move forward. Um, Ty Hooks is, a, is another young man that's been, been with us for three years. He's a, he's a two-year starter going into it. Uh, again, logged a lot at bats. Um, so we're excited about him taking his game to another level too. So those three guys from a returning standpoint, we're excited about. Uh, CJ Conrad is another, uh, is a fifth year senior, uh, has had some injury bugs over the year, uh, over the years, but uh, was healthy last year, but I think he's even, even healthier right now going forward. So, I mean, I think those guys right there from a returning standpoint, uh, we're, we're excited. We brought in some transfers, um, a couple junior college transfers, a couple guys from the portal. We're really excited to see how they're going to uh, progress in our program over the, the, the next five to six months. Um, so, so again, I think we got a good mix of, of some older guys, some returner guys, and some and some new blood into the program. That all sounds good, but of course. Hitting is only part of the picture, so let's talk about pitching. Parker Whittle is one of your top uh, guys on the staff. What makes him successful, and what role is he going to play, and how does the staff flesh out this year? Well, I, I think I think first thing, Parker's been with us for two years, um, and, he, and he's pitched in all types of roles. Uh, last year, he started out as our Friday night guy. Uh, th then we kind of moved him to the, to the bullpen, uh, and then what I usually call the most important part of the game. Um, I mean, it could be the fifth inning, could be the seventh inning, could be the ninth inning. Um, so he can do so many different things. Um, so right now, as we're going into the season, we're still, you know, a, a few weeks away. Um, I, I think the role for him has not been determined, but he can do multifaceted things from the mound, and, and, and we're excited about that. Uh, so I think that's 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 a positive right there. But again, same way on the offensive side, we got a lot of new faces uh, uh, on the pitching side, too. Again, couple guys there, junior college, a couple freshmen, uh, and also a couple guys that we got from the portal transfer. So we're excited how we're going to blend them all together and kind of develop roles and where we're going to be. Um, we have a young man uh, uh, that I think is, is has really taken a, a huge, huge jump um, for us at, at, at this point, um, Caleb Jones. Uh, Caleb didn't really get a lot of opportunity last year, worked extremely hard uh, in the summer, and really has elevated a game. It looks like he's going to be a go-to guy for us. As we were ending the fall, moving into the spring, he put himself in a very, very positive position going forward for the spring. That's good. It all sounds like a good uh, good mix you've got, and we wish you luck with that. Now, you've been through this a few times now. You know what to expect. The Big South is a gauntlet uh, in itself, but what do you have in the non-conference schedule that we may not know about? Uh, what do we have to look forward to there for the Eagles? Well, I think you're exactly right. I think since I've been in the league, the parity 
of the Big South is outstanding. Um, there's so many good coaches in the, in the conference that do a heck of a job. So we're, we're also looking forward to the, the conference schedule. But the non-conference schedule, um, you know, LIU Brooklyn, we open up with LIU Brooklyn for a three-game set. Um, we got Liberty coming into Rock Hill. So, you know, that's it's, it's an old Big South team that uh, Coach Jackson has done an outstanding job there at Liberty. So we're, we're really excited about getting them. Uh, into Rock Hill, uh, and then we have University of Maine here uh, at home, and then we go to East Tennessee State. So our non-conference weekends, I think, are going to be very, very competitive. Uh, it's going to challenge us to get us ready for the conference. And then from our from our midweek standpoint, uh, South Carolina, Clemson, that's been mainstays on our our um, our schedule. And then we have a two-game set with University of Cincinnati on a Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're excited about that. So I think I think the uh, the schedule is going to be challenging. I think early on it's going to prepare us for the the Big South Conference uh, schedule. Well, we look forward to seeing that roll out. We wish you the best of luck and all the Eagles the best of luck this season. Thanks for your time and best of luck with preparations. Mark, I appreciate appreciate you doing this.